Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Cary Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina, and today is Thursday, March 10th. Today we're back in our meeting center to share some more of the Pack Us Out quilts. This quilt is by Gwen Brink, and it's called Things Fall Apart. And this is made out of new and repurposed commercial fabrics, cotton and polyester thread, cotton batting, machine pieced and hand quilted. I really like Gwen's um, large big stitch quilting on that. And it is a lot of fun fabrics. That's almost like a flannel right there. So this is one of the quilts that's hanging in the Packless South show that's in our meeting center right now. That is the Professional Art Quilters Alliance show. And the group that is showing is called Common Threads. Um, it'll be here for about another week and a half. So be sure to come see it if you're local. Next up, I want to share our next um, kit for the Riley Blake Table Topper of the Month is here. This is the kit for June. And this is the quilt that uh, Linda Hunt, our long arm quilting manager, made from the kits that we got early as shop samples. It's a really pretty kit. There is some paper piecing in there. So if you're not familiar with paper piecing, this is a great small project for diving in. And uh, if you want a little extra help, we do have paper piecing classes by Rosie here at the shop. Next up, let me just throw this aside. We're gonna get into our pretty batiks for the day. These are Pura Vida batiks. Pura Vida is the Spanish phrase for simple or pure life, and it encapsulates the Costa Rican culture. This line was inspired not only by the rich foliage, vibrant sunsets, mouth-watering food, and phenomenal beaches of Central America, but also the true contentment felt when slowing down to enjoy life. This is by Shayla Wolf for Anthology Fabrics. And I love the strength in these prints. And I love that they're mostly two color because I think that gives you a lot of um, dynamic kind of uh, geometric designs that sometimes batiks miss when they get too colorful, they get kind of muddy and it's hard to tell exactly what we're looking at. But these are nice and strong. It's almost like a uh, modern batik collection. So we have several in this group, so I may speed up a little just to make sure you see them all without falling asleep on me. <laughs> we also have a fat quarter bundle that goes with this group. Um, and then I'm going to show you a pattern that you could make with that fat quarter bundle, um, which would just be a very dynamic and beautiful quilt. Let's see, we have about 10 more bolts to show you. Look at the pineapples. Those are fun. <laughs> I like this leaf pattern. That, of course, has a linear look to it, too. So that would make a fun uh, border. And then we have, look how strong that yellow is. Love it. Ooh, that's fun too. I don't know if I've shown you one of those yet. And then a very clear yellow. Whoops, i tip that so you can see it in the light. Oh, here's another one of those ones with the leaves and the geometric designs. And then we have several black over here. And I put the black ones together because black batiks are hard to get right. Um, the gray will either look green or blue or dirty. And these are really um, beautiful black and gray batiks. Ooh, that one is great. That would look terrific with Cave Facet fabrics. Setting off some of his brights with something a little calmer. And that one is sort of a blue. It's like a really deep teal blue. And then here's the pattern I wanted to share that would look great with those fabrics. This is a 20 fat quarter quilt. Uh, it's not a very original name, but 20 fat quarter quilt. <laughs> the finished size on this is 56 by 68. And of course you can make it bigger just by adding more blocks across and down. I love that braided border too. And that's a really fun thing to learn how to do. So that's what we've got for you today. Tomorrow we'll be back with more fabrics and Fat Quarter Friday. So stay tuned and keep supporting us. Have a great afternoon. Bye.